For more exclusive content from CNBC Crypto Trader, hit the subscribe button now. Crypto Trader is proudly brought to you by eToro. Discover a simpler way to trade and invest in cryptocurrencies and more. speakers, a whole lot of exhibitors, and all the press you can imagine. This must be one of the biggest crypto gatherings that the West Coast has ever seen. Tonight, we're going to be looking at the stories that are making crypto news headlines, including BACT finally launching, finally announcing a launch date, Coinbase raising money on a pre-money valuation of $8 billion. We're going to be asking our fund managers on navigating the crypto winter whether an equities meltdown is imminent, and if so, what does this actually mean for crypto? Is the world ready for the securities token revolution? And why is trading on index such a bad experience? For all those stories and more, join us tonight, because tonight and every other night, here at CNBC, we're all in on crypto. So my next guess is that a global equities meltdown is imminent. In fact, so imminent that it's actually gonna happen this month. He also says that when it happens, the biggest winner is going to be crypto. Oh, that's really some big statements there. Yeah. Explain to me why you think that there's going to be a global equities meltdown. You sent us some slides, and, and the first slide says it's a red November and everything's about to collapse. So talk me through this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we have, if you look at the chart here, this is a chart pattern that has been, it's, it's, an, it's an extremely important chart pattern because if you, the longer the chart pattern holds true, the more likely the possibility of crash. This is called a rising wedge. And if you've noticed the stock market for years, what it's done is it's been moving up, grinding, grinding, grinding higher. And as it continues to grind higher, you get complacency in the stock market. Everybody believes that the stock market will continue to go up and it will not stop. The problem that you have is that the market's narrow. And as they continue to narrow, the price narrows. If the bottom channel breaks, the markets violently plunge. Now, you may not think this is important, but when I'm done, you're gonna see some charts that are gonna scare, scare you. So let's go to the next chart here. This is the great crash of 87. What do you see there? It's a rising wedge, okay? So on that chart pattern, what you saw, after the bottom wedge broke, it came up, bounced, and then it the US markets crashed 37%. That was in 87. That was in 87, okay? Now, the time pattern here on that chart is approximately 760 days. This is important, okay? Now, the next chart pattern here is the great crash of 1920. That was a 50% crash. That was a 50% crash. This crash, the chart pattern, was approximately just over 600 days. Okay. So the longer, the quick, the quicker the rise, the sharper the drop. Okay. Okay. So this is Australia today. You'll notice Australia sits on the lower channel. If that channel breaks, Australia will crash. Let's look at Switzerland. Switzerland is sitting on the lower channel. When that channel breaks, you notice it's narrowing. All of these chart patterns are narrowing. A Switzerland is about to crash. Here's the United States. The everyone can say how wonderful, how strong the United States stock market is. I fully agree. Until 23,500 is hit this month, possibly, as, or as early as next month, as early as November. When the markets touch that lower channel, you're going to see the U.S. equity markets plunge. Now, this is really important here to understand the difference of China versus the United States. Now, I don't remember if you look back, but in the year 2007, China and the world stock markets topped in October. 
and then they crashed. Crashed. <laughs> we are in the month of October. Okay. So what happened in two? This is interesting. This is a very, very important analogy here because China, China has not crashed. China has been crashing for several months already. If you look at 07, China dropped. There's a support line, a blue line you can see on the chart pattern. China broke support in January after it started to fall. Then you can see markets were crashing all the way into June. And then it was in June of 2008 when the US markets began to plunge because they broke support. So it took five months for the US markets to catch up and then they finally crashed. So that five month spread basically says that China typically historically has led the world market. And where is China today? China has now fallen and it broke that support line four months ago. Which means that we've got one month left. Which means next month in November, the US markets will plunge with China. So you're saying that next month, November, November, yes, the US markets are going to plunge, right? That's the equities markets. Yes. So I don't really care about the equities markets. I am very focused on crypto. Well, guess what? I got some good charts for you. Let's go to the next one. Just before we got to go through this chart here, double top. A double top means if markets make a high, they drop, they come back up and make another high. If the traders can't push it through the first top, the markets will suddenly reverse and crash. And that's what you see right here in the US stock market. You'll see the US stock market, the great crash is coming. This is what's indicated. You had a, in January, the US stock markets made a top. So what you're saying is that here on Crypto Trader, we're announcing ahead of time yes. that the US markets, the great crash of 2018 is about to happen. It'll be here, it'll be here before year end. You heard it first on Crypto Trader. Yes. And take, let's take matters a little further here. The double top. We posted a video stating that on October 4th, the US equity markets will begin to crash. And on October 4th, the stock markets began to <coughs> crash on the exact dates. You're saying you called this on October 4th? I have a video posted on YouTube stating that on October 4th. I want to watch this video. Where is this video? A gold 2020 forecast. So gold 2020 forecast is a video that you posted Dated on the 4th of October. Correct. That said the market was going to crash. Saying that today is the first day down for the world market crash. And on the 4th of October, the market went down. Correct. I was going to post on the 3rd, but I was tired that night. So the kids so I got on the 4th. <laughs> you should have put that video on the blockchain. So it would be immutable and... <laughs> <laughs> I will ask you how to, ask you how to do that because I don't know how to do that. Okay, so, so, let's, so now let's take matters a little further. So, so the point is the markets, and you'll see what happened. The, the second wedge broke and the markets plunged. 1,600 points on the Dow. Who cares about equities? Let them burn. Yes. Let them burn. What if there's next? Well, because, <laughs> because, because, because if the markets don't crash hard enough, no one's going to buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin's not going to go up until people have a reason to invest in cryptocurrencies. Okay. They need to lose faith and confidence in the stock market, the equity markets, that's the key. Okay, so what you're saying is that the markets are about to crash. Right. The equity markets are yes. about to crash. Everybody's gonna lose faith in the stock market and the money is gonna flow up and go to Bitcoin, the alternate coins, gold and silver. We're gonna have a massive financial shift before year end. Okay, so now we've got three reasons to be happy. We've got Fidelity coming in, we've got back coming online, and we've got the stock market about to crash. Right, so this is our pattern that I show you from left to right, 700-ish trading days, 760 trading days. That equates to the crash of 1987, which means the US market should punch between 30 and 40 percent, probably 35 percent, taking it down to roughly 18,000 range. Okay, so since none of us here actually have equities, what I suggest is that we all buy Bitcoin. Right, and then so listen to that. We, we go back one chart here. We go back one chart. This is really critical. All the charts you've looked at, you had rising wedges. This is a descending wedge. It's the exact opposite. When one falls, the other goes up. So for those of you who have equities, jump to the ship. And for those of you who don't have Bitcoin, now is the right time to buy. And that's not according to me, that's according to Bo. Bo, thank you so much thank for you. coming on Crypto Trader. <laughs> now, before we go. Crypto Trader is proudly brought to you by eToro. Discover a simpler way to trade and invest in cryptocurrencies and more.